Total Recall uh, just came out on uh, 4K uh, recently, and and I got a copy for Christmas. Uh, I got a lot of DVDs for Christmas this year. Uh, you'd think that they were like a like a new thing. Uh, thankfully, this 4K edition also came with a, a Blu-ray, since I I don't own a 4K player or a 4K TV, and I'm I'm not sure when I'll I'll ever upgrade. The fact is. I'm pretty happy with regular DVD. Believe it or not, uh, I, I know a guy who's who's getting back into VHS right now, much like how many people have, have gotten back into vinyl uh, over the past decade or so. Uh, not sure if it's the same thing, really, but it, it shows that having a perfect uh, image uh, isn't everything, you know? Uh, no matter what, uh, Total Recall, the movie, holds up uh, after 30 years. I, I, I tend to think of it as not only being the last great 80s action movie, uh, you know, even if it came out in 1990, but also the last great uh, movie Arnold Schwarzenegger ever made. I know T2 came out a year later, and as, as great as the action and special effects are in that movie, the story doesn't even hold a candle uh, to the original Terminator, uh, nor does it pose any of the interesting questions about reality that, that Total Recall does quite well. Um, the movie is based on a short story by Philip K. Dick, who, who wrote the source material for, for other movies like, like Blade Runner and Minority Report, neither of which are universally loved. Uh, Total Recall, on the other hand, is such a crowd pleaser. Uh, I remember seeing it in the theater and, and just being blown away uh, by the outrageousness of it all, uh, beyond the brutality and and lasciviousness it has, uh, the idea of the hero uh, not being able to trust his own mind uh, made things genuinely suspenseful. Uh, Schwarzenegger plays Douglas Quaid, a construction worker who, who lives with his uh, super hot wife, uh, played by Sharon Stone, but uh, he has dreams of another woman uh, and another life uh, on the planet Mars. Uh, it's the future, and, and people actually do live on Mars, but, but you can also pay... Uh, to have a memory implanted uh, of, of, of going to Mars by a, by a company called uh, Recall. <laughs> when, when Quaid uh, you know, goes to Recall, they, they uncover a suppressed memory of being no less than a secret agent that has actually been to Mars for real. Uh, Quaid then goes to Mars to solve the mystery of who he is, but at the same time, we have to wonder uh, if he's just living out some version of the memory implant uh, he was given at recall. Uh, along the way, he has some amazing gunfights uh, using uh, dead bodies as shields. Uh, he becomes immersed in the mutant rebellion, uh, meeting a woman with three boobs, and ultimately, he discovers the ancient alien technology that could give Mars an atmosphere with breathable air. Uh, Rachel Ty Cotton uh, plays Melina, the uh, woman of Quaid's dreams, who has an incredible fight scene uh, with Sharon Stone. Uh, Ronnie Cox plays Cohagen, uh, the evil ruler of Mars, hamming uh, it up uh, to an extent that, you know, <laughs> uh, that I almost can't believe. And, uh, and Michael Ironside plays uh, Cohagen's henchman, uh, uh, Richter, uh, who's out to kill Quaid, perhaps even against the wishes of his own master. Uh, Look out for appearances by Marshall Bell, uh, Dean Norris, uh, Mickey Jones, and uh, Robert Picardo, uh, or at least his voice, uh, as the uh, obnoxious Johnny Cab robot. The screenplay uh, was written by uh, Ronald Chassette and uh, Dan O'Bannon, who, who wrote the original Alien. Uh, it was directed by the great Paul Verhoeven, who directed one of my favorite movies, RoboCop, as well as Starship Troopers. Um, these connections give the movie such a rich pedigree, uh, showing it, it really is a cut above most other sci-fi action-adventure movies. It was remade in 2012, of course, uh, but I refuse to see that. I, I tried watching the RoboCop remake, but I, I just couldn't even finish it. The um, special features on this 4K release are a lot like um, the ones from the DVD that I had like 20 years ago, which, which came in... Uh, uh, a cute little round tin that looked like Mars. Uh, there's a commentary with both uh, Schwarzenegger and Verhoeven, which is which is great just to hear their dueling thick accents. But uh, there's a new documentary uh, on it called uh, How Carol Co., uh, the production company, uh, changed Hollywood, which which should be interesting. Uh, so pick one up if uh, you're still into physical media. And uh, thanks for watching.